Well, hey guys, Louie here and welcome to the weekend. Another great week it has been for silver and gold. We'll talk a little bit about that, but this is just going to be a quick video. Uh, what I have here is 100 ounces of shot that I picked up uh, about two weeks ago. Um, but what I have coming um, in, uh, well, in a week or so is a 100 ounce vintage bar that I just bought on Friday. Oh man, I'm really excited to get that. And I'll show it to you when it comes in. Uh, like I said, this was purchased from Monument Metals uh, during the last dip. And this was purchased on February 3rd. So we're sitting here at the 19th. Um, that's over two weeks to get this 100 ounces. Of course, my uh, my check had to clear, um, which I don't, I don't fault them that. But I, I think they they held on a little longer than they should have. There's the proof, $2,436 for some beautiful shot. Uh, let's see what it looks like. And of course I've been pouring and I love getting shot at a good price. And then I can give you guys some bars at a good price. Um, so let's just get this open. You can see the shot. It may not be uh, the most exciting bullion in the world, but you know what? You could make an argument uh, to stack shot. I mean, you know, it's cheaper than generic. Well, this now is only 40 cents over, over spot with silver up at 24. But uh, when, when I bought it, um, I think it was about $2 over. I could be wrong. All right, now I'm going to give them props. I really like this. They gave me a canvas bag, guys. Oh, dudes, I love the canvas bags, um, and I see they put a zip tie on it. Um, I need to weigh this. Um, it says 3110.04 grams. Oh, okay, so that's 100, uh, that's the 3,110 grams, which would be uh, 100 uh, ounces. Uh, let's pop this open. Yeah, but these canvas bags, they are bitching for junk silver. Uh, so let's try to get this open without further ado. I don't know about this zip tie here. Maybe I can just crunch it off. Come on, come on. If there's an easier way to do this, somebody let me know. I think you have to break the zip tie to do it. Okay, hold on, almost there. I don't want to rip this nice bag. There we go, we got it. Um, you may wonder why I've got this on my desk. Uh, I've been cracking open slabs. Uh, those of you that uh, follow my uh, my journey uh, know that uh, I um, inherited a bunch of slabbed Morgans, right? And uh, um, I broke out all of the Carson cities. They were in these... Uh, Blanchard, Blanchard slabs, and uh, they were just generically graded MS60+, plus, but some of them looked um, better to me. And uh, the Carson Cities, I broke out of these slabs. Um, NGC, um, per my new membership, uh, will not cross over, I think, anything but a PCGS. I, I could be wrong about that, but they would not take a generic slab. Um, so I had to bust them out, which is what I did very carefully, thanks to all the videos I watched of all you guys doing it. And those are over at NGC right now. Uh, they took almost a month to open my package and uh, probably take a couple more months to get those graded. I'll have a video on that when they come back with the grade reveal. And, uh, oh, gee, look at this. So this shot, is uh, just loose in the bag. Here, I'll prove it to you. Uh, normally, there's a plastic bag inside of, uh, inside, oh, and I already dropped one. Okay, we'll get that later, or the cat will. So, um, I don't want to spill it out, but it is just, uh, it is just loose inside this bag. Now, that is really strange. Uh, maybe because this was so cheap, it's more of a wholesale lot, but I think, I, I think, I think I've seen in their ads that they sell uh, Royal Canadian Mint uh, Silver Shot. Um, so, uh, you know, I, this may be my first uh, purchase 
of shot from Monument. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh that and make sure that it weighs. Um, well, that would be uh, one. Uh, yeah, that's that would be a pound thirteen. Uh, one pound thirteen point six ounces. Um, but that is not Troy, so uh, it should be well over a pound. Um, I don't know the conversion offhand. Uh, I don't want to switch the scale to uh, Troy. I don't even know if it does that. But there is my 100 ounces a shot, now at a good price. And uh, that's going to be fun. I just got to be careful I don't spill this, eh? Hey? That is strange. That's the that's the first time that I have um, I've seen shot come in anything other than a plastic bag, even if it comes inside of a, of a canvas bag. So, wow, what a week. Uh, we'll talk about that for just a minute. Like I said, I've been buying with both hands um, and selling a little gold. Uh, let me show you what I'm selling. Um, this is a collector bullion, but uh, I don't mind trading out gold for silver, and these uh, have collector value. So uh, I think I've showed these before, but I've I've listed a few of these to uh, raise the cash for um, for silver purchases. Not that I don't love gold here. I mean, I think gold is exploding higher, and uh, looks like uh, we've got a date with 2,000. I mean, once you get to 1,900, it's pretty much got to hit 2,000. And then it appears to be dragging silver up with it. Uh, gold moving first this time, silver lagging a little bit. But if you watch the GSR, uh, they're not letting the GSR go over 80, and uh, that is pulling silver up. At some point, that GSR is going to drop, and silver is going to shoot over uh, the relative value of gold. Um, so uh, that's why I'm trading out gold right now. Um, and uh, these, uh, I think I'm asking six. 50 for these quarter ounce uh, Queen's Beast Lions. If you uh, didn't notice, uh, there's a new release of the Tudor, uh, Tudor Beast uh, BU version, uh, wholesale pricing on that like 28 an ounce. Um, you can get the uh, Tudor Lion, pretty good, pretty good image, pretty good. I, I, I can't fault it, I think it's um, probably better than the Panther. They did not release the Panther first, they released the Lion first. So you can certainly pick those up, although there, um, there, there will be tens of thousands, you know, of the Tudor Beast uh, two-ounce uh, coins uh, released. So uh, I don't think there's any rush, but uh, if spot is going to go up higher here, um, you know, you, you may want to jump on that. So the question is, um, um, will, you know, are you buying today? You notice the premiums have been dropping. I'm seeing $2 premiums again on generic silver and uh, $4 on uh, sovereign bullion, whether it be Britannia's, sometimes Maple's, um, other sovereign bullion. So um, the premiums are no reason not to buy at this point, uh, anything but Eagles. Shoot, I, I even saw ATB, uh, an ATB sale, which I'm sure some of you snapped up but uh, they, were, they were selling ATBs for like $28 an ounce, which is, uh, well, shoot, $4 or $5 below what you can get an Eagle for. They're, they're very synonymous in the aftermarket because they're both U.S. Mint products. Um, so I should have bought some of those, but I was just clean broke. But they had some beautiful ATBs. I forget where it was, maybe Atmex. Um, and, and now the ones that are left are the higher price ones, but uh, they certainly are moving those out, or they were moving those out. If you were looking for sovereign bullion, of course, I'm looking for generic bullion, and and uh, the the cheapest I can find. You know, if you can get in over two dollars an ounce, then uh, or you can get in for two dollars uh, premium, a good deal. the The question is, uh, would you buy here at nearly twenty four dollars silver? Well, you know, uh, I think there's going to be a pullback. Um, I think the Russia stuff is uh, Kabuki theater. And uh, I think what they're doing is they're driving the stock market down. 
I think that uh, if they drive the stock market down far enough, then they can lighten up on the uh, quantitative tightening and the interest rate increases. Um, so that's what I th that's what I think is going on. It's kind of conspiracy theory, but the Ukraine uh, situation is a civil is a civil situation. It has nothing to do with the United States. Um, but boy, are we making hay with it, uh, killing the stock market. Um, I think there is a big drop ahead of us, as I've been saying for a few weeks now. I hope you got some powder dry for that. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to take silver and gold with it, but it sure is going to take uh, crypto with it, in my opinion. Uh, crypto is trading, you know, in parallel with the NASDAQ these days. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I think we're, we're headed lower in crypto. I think we're headed higher in gold and silver. But uh, as I started this, uh, I think there's going to be a pullback. Um, it just seems like there needs to be a pullback. We're at really, really good resistance here at 1900 gold and 24 silver. Um, I'm kind of hoping there will be, but uh, who, who knows? It may just blast through. We're moving slow and steady, and uh, we clearly have higher numbers in the, uh, in the, uh, in the future. Of course, there can always be a dip and there can always be a sell-off and I can always be wrong. But uh, the purchases I've made recently have all been just fantastic. And uh, uh, the market is, uh, has definitely got my back. Uh, you know, P PMs are desirable. That is for sure. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it there. What are your thoughts about the market? I don't think I'm a buyer here at 24 uh, GSR at 79 and a half. Uh, I need to, for my triggers uh, to, to pull, uh, we need to have a smackdown. GSR needs to be 80, okay, 80 or above. And then I think you're getting a good deal. Um, but right now, feels like we're a little overextended. But who knows, we could make the run. You know, if silver pushes over 24, uh, all the enthusiasm is going to come back. All the buying is going to come back. All the FOMO is going to come back. And that is a whole different market than where we have been the last few months. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but what are your thoughts? Are you, uh, are you thinking we're gonna have a pullback here? Will we be that lucky? And now it is a buy the dip scenario, um, whereas they're selling the stock market every time it goes up and they're selling crypto every time it goes up. But is it a buy the dip precious metals market? Um, I kind of think it is. And even platinum, I mean, hit 1,100. Um, so uh, will platinum go back to 1,000? Seems to me there might be a pullback and let that happen. But uh, I will certainly be buying more if that happens. I just have to trade out a little more gold to, uh, to be able to do that financially. And I'm also looking at uh, selling some collectible uh, some collectibles, uh, again, to fund the precious metals. I don't want to be... That, that's kind of an example of something I collect. Um, I won't go into what that is, but um, I don't really want to be in paper assets or collectibles or NFTs or, um, you know, e e even uh, muscle cars, um, stuff that's really, really highly valued right now. Uh, I think we have a recession coming. I think that stuff could pull back, but I think gold and silver will flex their muscles in that environment. So I want to be more in precious metals right now than anything else. And that's why I'm liquidating some of my other um, uh, diversified uh, tangible assets. Okay, guys, uh, that, I've talked enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please um, give me a, a thumbs up. Think about subscribing if you liked it. I'm here every week on Saturday morning. And uh, right or wrong, I'll always tell you what I think. You guys have a great week. Bye now.